Hello, hello, my lovely boos. I got a video for you guys today. I'm going to be using the Nail Junkies Acrylics today. I'm going to be using several different ones from the Zodiac Collection. I'm going to be doing a Easter Mini using these today. I'm going to be doing a Vertical Ombre with these beautiful acrylics. I absolutely love them. If you do, if you haven't tried the Zodiac Collection, oh my gosh, you guys are, oh my god, I love them so much. I'm using my Glamorous hand today, but this is a collaboration with the Glitter Girl, so do make sure to go check out everybody's Manny. There will be a playlist down below for you guys, so that way you can go check it out. But yeah, but anyways, I put these nail forms on as well, guys, and I actually got them to stick. I'll have to show you that eventually how I did that. I'm going to be using my Enel Couture Clear here, and I'm just going to build a tip on the edge of these, and then I'm going to be applying the Nail Junkies Acrylics. But All right, guys, so I'm actually going to apply a small bead at the edge here, and I'm just taking my brush, and I'm just patting this out making this as thin as I possibly can. You do want to make sure that if you are using forms that you make your acrylic as thin as you possibly can get it because you're going to be applying layers on top. So therefore you don't want a really thick nail. Now when using forms, I know sometimes it's a little hard to see clear, especially when you pat it out really thin, it turns really super clear. But if you just take your time and pat slowly, and just work it down little by little do make sure that it's not too runny um because you, you'll just be chasing the acrylic all over the form so it does have to be at that right ratio um if you do happen to get it a little tiny bit runny it's not a big deal but make sure you keep wiping your sides and keep wiping your brush off that's one of the biggest reasons that acrylic sticks inside of your brush is because you're not wiping it enough so every time I stroke acrylic a couple of times I, I wipe my brush and I just repeat that process each time um, you do want to make sure that you are building them thin but they do have to be have enough product that when you go to remove the form that you don't have any spots missing so you do want to make sure that you turn that around and kind of look at each side to make sure that you're getting acrylic in all areas but you just pat all the way down as far as you want and then move on to the next so and as you'll see after I get this one here done this front one I do kind of wish I would have took it out a little bit longer but um, I had ended up making it a little shorter which you know the the pointer finger is supposed to be shorter than the other nails but um, I did go back and apply a little bit more on the ring finger because I do feel like right at the main edge I didn't apply enough acrylic so I am going to be apply another small bead at the end here. I'm going to feather it up and then pull it down and make that a little bit stronger. But when I pull these forms off they are super super thin guys. They're thin enough to hold the acrylic but not so thick that whenever I apply more acrylic on top it's going to look like a bulky nail. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to let you watch how I do this. I am doing a vertical ombre. There is a couple different ways that you can do vertical ombres. You can apply one color first all the way up or you can apply each side to each side which you'll see me doing the video, video here. I am going to show you a couple ways that you can do a vertical ombre. But anyways guys, like I said, let me know what you guys think and let's go ahead and get into this video.
This is the Easter plate that I bought last year. If I can find this plate again, I'll leave the link in the description box for you guys. But I absolutely love Beauty Big Bang. They are some of my favorite stamping plates to use and their polishes. So if you've never tried them, I'll at least leave their store link. That way you can go take a look. But I'm using their uh, black right now to stamp with. And I'm just going to stamp over these beautiful vertical ombre nails. Love them. Super cute. You can do so many things with stamping plates, but I just think this one is so adorable. It's got the cutest little Easter designs on it. I just love it. Alright my loves, this is the 
final result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I used the Beauty Big Bang stamping plate and I used the Nail Junkie acrylics. But anyways, guys, let me know down below what you guys think, if you like it or not. I absolutely love it. It was so easy to do. I absolutely adore these acrylics. Don't forget that I do have a 15% off code. And as soon as her store is back up and running, you can use that code. But anyways, guys, I will try to leave everything linked down below as well as the, if I can find the Beauty Big Bang plate still i did buy this one last year but i will try to link that down below for you guys so that way you can go check it out i absolutely love all of beauty big bangs uh stepping plates they are really good really good and etched anyways but yeah let me know what you think down below in the comments don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so you can get all my latest uploads but anyways guys i hope you're having a beautiful blessed day hope everybody is staying safe happy Easter guys. I love you all. Bye.